Hi, everybody. This is Jamar Brown. I wanted to uh, send a message out to all the fine young men as part of the Boss Program Business of Success Beyond Sports, as well as to Everett. And I want to first and foremost thank you for having me as your guest speaker a few weeks ago. I absolutely loved it. Your energy, your engagement, the questions you all asked, and just the fact that you're so uh, motivated and inspired to have success beyond sports and in life and in business was very motivating for me. And so what I thought I'd do is send you a quick video to say thank you very much, but also to recap four things that uh, we talked about that can really help you to have success in life and in business beyond sports. But the first and most important thing is to understand how you can leverage sports to have success in life and business outside of sports. And I showed you guys a diagram where it looked at your entire life is a very long span, but your sports career is you know very short. However, in that short period of time where you are playing sports, you can leverage what you learn in sports to achieve so much in life. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, I showed you guys a video of me playing uh, football in high school. I played basketball and baseball and then uh, got involved in student government, went to college, played basketball for a couple of years in college, but then left basketball to pursue uh, leadership and was a Black Student Union president, the student body president of Whittier College, and then went into business and, and continued to use what I learned in sports to help me be successful in business, to write books and be a consultant and be a VP of sales and all the other things that we talk about. So let me give you four of the things that I've done personally that I wanted to share with all of you that we spoke about during the session that can help you to have success beyond sports, but most importantly, use sports to create success in your life. The first thing is to make others around you better. As a leader in an organization or at a company or in your life, your success will be determined by the amount of people that you help, that you develop, that you coach. And if you have people saying that, you know, Jimmy or John or Mike or Larry, whoever, you know, whatever your name is, help them to be successful, that would contribute to your success. And so how does that translate to sports? Well, if you're on a sports team, one of the most important things you could do is to help other players around you get better. If you see someone that is not doing what they're supposed to do, Take the time to coach them, to help them. If you have a skill set that somebody else doesn't have, then take the time to help them develop their skill set using your own talents. If you're on a team, try to be the team leader or the team captain. And if you're not the official team captain, then be the most encouraging person on your team to help other people get better. Not only will the team get better, but you'll increase your leadership skills. And that'll be a skill that you will need later on in life to have success because it's really determined by how much you help other people. So make other people around you better on your sports team. The second thing is run the full lap. And I shared the story about how when I was you know, trying out for the basketball team in high school and the coach said run 20 laps. And after about lap five, people started cutting corners. And the coach stopped everybody and said, look, those of you that cut corners will not be a starter at the start of the season. Those of you that run the full lap will be a starter because I know you're dedicated and committed to doing the right things to make yourself better and to improve and to contribute to the team. And sometimes it's very easy to take shortcuts, right? To not run the full lap, but it always catches up with you. Always give 110% effort. And if you can develop that habit as an athlete on your sports team, then that will be something that your future boss or employees will recognize about you when you graduate college and get into the business world and they'll say, that's somebody who I want to work with because they always run the full lap. I saw a story earlier about Kobe Bryant and how he would get to the gym four hours before a basketball game and he would be in there by himself. And then a, a player from a, a different team showed up to the gym before the game and, and, and saw Kobe in there. And then Kobe was still there after this person finished working out. Now keep in mind, Kobe was there before the person got there. So he worked out literally twice as long as this guy. So after Kobe went into the locker room, this guy asked him, so Kobe, why were you still working out after I finished? He said, because I wanted to show you that you were never going to outwork me. And then Kobe dropped, had dropped 40 points that night. So my point is, don't sh take shortcuts. Always run the full lap on your sports team. Develop that habit, and that will help you later on in life. The third thing is to think about who you are becoming, not just what you do. You will be an athlete for a very short period of your time but most of your time will be spent being in the working world when you graduate college. And so you're gonna do a lot of different jobs and, and career things that you'll be involved in, but the one thing that will never change is that you're the person doing those things. And so don't just worry about what you do or what your title is. Think about your legacy, what you are becoming, who you want to be in the world, how you want to influence other people 
and start doing and thinking that way now. I know it's a really big concept. And when my mentor told me that when I was a 17 year old kid, I couldn't understand the idea of legacy and, and, and becoming something. But as I struggled early on in my career and I was faced with, do I want to keep being the person that is not successful or do I want to change some things and become successful? A lot changed up here in terms of how I was treating other people. The imprint I was having on my fellow friends and my teammates and my coworkers, and I had a complete change and I focused on being the person that my parents raised me to be and leaving a legacy behind that was positive for the people around me. And so I want you to think about who are you becoming? Who do you want to be in this world? What legacy do you want to, to leave behind? And you start that as an athlete on your team. What type of person do you want to re be remembered for as an athlete on your basketball team, football team, baseball team, or any other team that you're a part of? Because that is the same mindset that you want to have when you go into your career. So think about your legacy and who you want to become. The fourth thing is the importance of communication skills. Now, one of the most important things you can do right now is to continually improve and develop your communication skills. People that communicate well get opportunities in life and they make a lot of money. For example, as salespeople, as managers and leaders, those that can influence other people through their words are always in a great position to be successful. Now, people aren't born with these great speaking skills, right? You have to develop, you have to practice. And so that's why I would encourage you to read books on, on, on public speaking, to really practice. Every chance you get to speak in public, to do it. And also go to my website, sellingincolor.com, S-E-L-L-I-N-G, in color.com, and look at a very simple formula I developed to help people communicate better based on, on their personality styles. And don't say I'm too young to do it because you know what? There's no better time to start than now because that's how you'll separate yourself on your team and then later on in life. And so once again, make others around you better. Run the full lap. Focus on who you are becoming and your legacy versus just what you do and always, always, always improve your communication skills. And those are four ways that I have lived by myself personally that has allowed me to have success in life that I wanted to share with you that can help you to have success <laughs> beyond just sports and continue to be a boss. So thank you all very much. If you want to reach out to me directly, you can uh, find me on Twitter at Jamar underscore Brown. Instagram, uh, Jamar underscore Brown 11, or you can email me, Jamar Brown at uh, Jamar Brown at, I'm sorry, Jamar at Jamar Brown dot com. That's Jamar with two R's. Everybody, thank you all very much. Ever thank you. Hopefully I'll be able to speak to uh, all of you guys again, but I look forward to seeing you guys have very successful lives. You're on your way and I'm very proud of you. Take care.